Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Chuck, Season 3, Episode Number 5. Yes, we got a couple comments to feature from Episode 4, starting with Jeremy Birch, who says, I love this episode. I love the introduction to Shaw and Morgan becoming the assistant general manager and standing up to Lester. The yeah. new darker feeling definitely works well for the show, and I like Sarah standing up to Shaw on behalf of Chuck. A lot of people in the spy world think Chuck's caring so much is a weakness, but it's his greatest strength. Then we fight Frederick coming through to say, hey guys, I love this episode. Actually, I love this episode, actually. <laughs> I read that wrong. I think the introduction of Shaw and the mystery surrounding him is intriguing. I really liked Sydney as a villain, and like you said, the sound score was amazing. The episode actually introduced uh, the, more, the, mo the more of the season three soundtrack, so that will be heard more often. Everything that happened inside the building where we found Shaw was great, in my opinion. Awesome. And Chuck teaming up and awesome seeing Chuck being a badass is great. Then finding Shaw, who seems to know everything immediately, just makes it seem like we have no idea what's going on, and I love that. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I also love that Morgan has some authority now. His fr Him firing Lester in the end and then giving him the job back was so satisfying. It was seriously so satisfying to see Morgan in that moment. That was like one of my highlights of the episode. Yeah. Great reaction and can't wait for more. Alright, but you're coming through to say, hey guys, I try to, I'll try to keep it short since I was away for a while. Love the new setup with the Intersect 2.0. Chuck can tap into every skill, but it's being restrained by his emotions. Mm -hmm. That keeps it interesting. Devin, aka Awesome's line skills are hilarious since they are non-existent. Yeah, yeah. he cannot. And finally, Ray Palmer's Superman has entered the show. I am so excited for this season. Love you guys. Great reaction as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. All right, let's get to it. Episode 5. Oh, my God. Well, at this point, you just should fire him permanently. Everybody, good morning. Good morning. Your coffee, sir. Thank you so much. Ooh, I'm gonna be throwing it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, call me old-fashioned, but I just I prefer cream or relaxative. Hmm. I need everybody's attention. I know some of you aren't happy that I'm running the vinyl. I'm sorry, but all your little tricks and your tactics—I know them all. I taught you them. So listen up. No more sabotage. Thank you. Lester, you're in my chair. If there's one thing I learned oh in life, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sucks. How was Lester sitting there? Who was it? You saw it was, that's how it was Can you take her to for me? Somebody grab Chuck for me? Hey, Jeff, can you take Chuck back here for me? Chuck! Chase, I want to ask you about Beastmaster. Really? No, not really. <laughs> You got any more info on you know who down in Castle? Shaw? Yeah, yeah, Shaw. Visit here, Chuck. Why not talk to yourself? He's living there. Living in Castle? What? What? Casey, what's going on? Is he really in charge of our team? Shaw is a special agent with the CIA. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. Even more special than me? It gets worse. Even more yeah, special, special than me. Special agent takes over an operation they conduct a review. Sarah's in there with him right now. What do you think they're talking about? Is Chuck Bartowski a real spy? Yes. Of course he is. I mean, his training has been irregular, and he was a civilian only two years ago. Well, these mission reports tell a different story. Sometimes it sounds like Bond, and other times it's like a Jerry Lewis movie. I need to know. It's Chuck a liability. Wait, the review's about me? Shouldn't Shelby be asking me about me? Where should we find that? Look, I'm never going to be able to escape this ridiculous cover if Shaw thinks I'm some moron civilian who just got unlucky enough to get a computer dumped in his head. Fine. Morgan, did you get glued to a chair? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay? The whole store's coming after me. That's true. You refuse to talk to me. Maybe because you fired him? No, no. They've teamed up and formed like an evil cabal of tricksters. I haven't had lunch to eat a cup of coffee in days. I need my free coffee. Did I do something wrong? No. No, 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 buddy. Everything's fine. You're fine. Work's fine. You know, this is more of a... Checking in. Just making sure that you're feeling okay. Just a little oh, human, 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 annoyed interaction. So, uh, like a laser for me. Thanks, yeah. A little bit of a rocky start, but I think I finished strong. What's next? Let's go. You ready? Whoa, whoa. Yes. I am. That's I'm it. ready That's after 20 seconds for two years. I just wanted to talk to you privately. Yeah. 
Oh, you don't have to fuck with your seats. Ooh, I like I get your first time. I'm on business, but uh, thank you. Oh, they put him in there, guys. Yes. What's the past that? Ah, <laughs> get me out of here! This is up! Hey, Casey. Oh, thank you. me around the world and I fix problems for him. I do stuff. Computers, mainframes, it's terribly boring and stress. A lot of stress. Mm. But She's an IT computer girl. I live in Paris. I have a view of the Eiffel Tower. No way. Really? Yeah. Have you been? To the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. So many times. Can't even count how many times. <clears throat> I know everything there is to know about it. Chuck, why don't we think of Mr. Muscles over there? Stone Cold. Let me take a gander. I'm thinking professional wrestler, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, Stone Cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Tough to tell. Kind of nondescript, really. Right? Thank you. Would you excuse me for just a second? I gotta use a little nose room. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, got you there. Chuck. Sure. Flash yeah, how did you know I flash? Because your mission's gone Paris, Chuck. Your mission is on the line. You son of a... My mission is on the plane. What do you mean my mission is on the plane? Yeah. So this makes sure that nobody can come to help him, man. Yeah. He's moving a CIA crypto key to Paris. So put it in cargo. You can get his claim ticket, go to the cargo hold, find his bag, get the key. Yeah, I'm only seeing problems with that plan right now. I'm only you seeing problems with that plan. Chuck, give you the plan for a reason. You can do this. Of course, the pen. Trank him. Get the ticket. No problem. Chuck, please be careful. Hugo Panzer is very dangerous. He is a master at close quarters combat. Sarah, don't you worry. I will have that key back before they serve the lobster. And by the way, I'm quite looking forward to that. <laughs> I love it. Um, Chuck is not ready for Paris, and he's certainly not ready for a mid-air mission. I mean, we can't even go in and help him. Well, now we find out if your asset is a real spy. Who are you, Agent Shaw? Because, you know, Mr. Yeah, you know, I think she's an upgrade. <clears throat> it's such a bummer, too, because one of the things I love about first class is the opportunity to yeah, you really socialize and rub elbows with people that are, you know, like-minded and not the rabble. Thank you, agree? <laughs> That, that's fascinating, let me try. Oh, no. yeah. oh, it is in the hand. Sorry, sorry about that, sorry. That was an ink. You gotta trick me. Is this first class for you? Nobody. Who are you? <laughs> he got some in his mouth, though. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Jeez. The long chance. First day as a spy, just murder them for me. I'm not myself anymore. They don't follow any rules. Insurgents. Insurgents. I hate insurgents. Yeah! Let's <laughs> work out, I think. Let's work out, I think. Hey guys, I'm in the cargo hold. 
And it's confirmed I'm freezing in here. Good job. Look for the matching ticket, find the key, get back to your seat. I mean, when is he going to wake up? And he didn't get like a full dose. Come on. And he's a big dude. You're right, aren't I? I should tell you I'm always right. It's annoying, but true. Why don't you tell me what you're right about so I can tell you that you're wrong? My theory about you and Chuck, most spies push their assets to perform. That's what I do. You protect him. You care for him. What do you got, Chuck? It's a coffee. It's a casket. Smart. The ring knows that customs won't check the body. Open it up. Find the key. That's kind of disgusting. Get it done, Chuck. No. Oh. Hi. Sorry about this. <laughs> Where are you? Where is it? Oh, dead hands. Dead cold hands. Dead. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, God. Dead skin. Dead skin. Dead skin. Get the casket? Don't. That's a bad plan. <laughs> there, Hugo. All he has to do is find the key. He shouldn't need to call. Pick up your phone. And what if he's in trouble? Go ahead. Answer me. Just know that if you do, he'll never be a real spy. And one day, that will get him killed. Um, that's good. Lucky for now. Wait, this is the whole thing, buddy. That guy might work with him. Oh, he's glad I'm saying. That's not true. Do you want to know my secret? This is scary. <laughs> um, I just got fired from my job. I thought I'd actually convince them to let me stay, but I am now officially flying to Paris to empty out my office. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Meeting you almost makes it worth it. Wow. Sour finish. He's right, it's poison. Chuck, you have to throw up. That's disgusting. Just do it right now. That's disgusting. Um, I'm gonna He's throw coming up. For me. If you don't put this phone in your mouth, throw up. Are you okay? Do you need any help? Sorry. There's the key, but I don't have it on me. I hit it down in the cargo hold. Here we go again. One. Now you feel like shit. Wow. I thought the episode was nearly over. Oh, I guess it worked again. Damn, damn! Isn't poisoning me enough? Yeah. Where's the key? Annabelle first. This is your first mission? Maybe. 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 Put my agent into a mission with two burnt operatives? He's going to make it. How? <laughs> what the fuck? We gotta start this down here. He's like, I've been doing this while I was down here. Alright, I work for the CIA. Okay. Yeah. And that's my boss. I cannot give up the key without his authorization first. Answer it. On speaker. <clears throat> You're wondering, I'm doing just standing. Aside from being 
captured point. What's all this down here? He's like, I've been doing this while I was down here. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> all right, I work with CIA. Okay. You know. And that's my boss. I cannot give up the key with this. Did you just say, I think you meant to say, please don't kill my good friend Chuck. Before you shoot him, one thing. <laughs> What type of poison are you using? I'm not walking. This is this to go to the plane. Does anybody need me out there? Her? This is horrible for a guy riding in the plane right now. Take it. Damn. Show the man then. Without Sarah being on. Get ready, get ready. <laughs> All that light is going to be messed up when they land. Hey, I'm alive, and I have the key. Unfortunately, I did not get to use my nunchucks. No one cares. Except us, because we were like, hmm. Disable link on my mark. Copy that. Three, two, one, three. Off like terminated. Thank you, pals. Well, like we would never even know we were there. Not being in the office. I do everything I can to protect my people. I lost one spy. It was my fault. It will never happen again. Why were you in Lisbon? I went to bury Bryce, my partner. He wanted his ashes there. Lisbon was our first mission. I knew I wasn't supposed to leave, but I promised him that I would take care of it, so I did. If you want me out, just tell Beckman, and she will reassign me. Why would I do that? I need you. I just had to be sure that the ring hadn't got to you already. And now do you believe me? Every word, sir. Welcome to Paris, Charles Duval. Next to you, the Evans, my family. How are you doing? Uh, much better, thanks. Yeah, sorry about the whole nervousness this episode. It wasn't my funniest hour. No, it's okay. Chuck, I'm gonna be here for a couple of days clearing things up. I would love it if I could show up the Eiffel Tower to you. What do you say? Absolutely. That, that would be amazing. Great. Hello, Chuck. Our Paris station is taking over custody of the ring operatives. They send their compliments. Oh, fantastic. That is great news. Another thing? Stay on the plane. Got fired. Is what is so pointless? Like, yeah. And that's why he's like, I know that's probably never likely. But it's way over qualified. Yeah. Hey, why didn't you already battle? Possibly in the 
Sasha. She was killed by a ring agent five years ago. Her name is Evelyn Shaw. Eve. We both made the same mistake, Sarah. We fell in love with spies. But mine died. I was killed. He sounded a good girl. Did it happen to you? Yeah, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. You already did it? What's with the looks? You gave me a raise. Inflation, Mike. See what happens when you go away for two days, though? Everything changes. Eh, I don't know. Sometimes I think everything just stays the same. But maybe that's just me. Shock. What happened on the install? Nothing. Nothing at all. Or now. All right, that was episode 35 of uh, Chuck and Hey. I had fun with that episode, man. Shout out to Stone Cold Steve Austin appearing up on there. Um, Chuck did a great job on this mission. So he can be solo, and I love how he used his powers on demand on this one. And that just goes to show, I guess, when you have no Sarah emotions involved, maybe he can focus enough up and do what he got to do. And I think that's what Superman was trying to teach him. On there, and I think lesson has been learned. Now, can he duplicate it and do it again? Don't know. I do like the sad story with the uh, buy more and what was going on with Morgan. And I think that worked out really good. So, I, I like to see how that's going to play out moving forward. But for this episode, it was a very solid episode, man, and um, I'm liking it. So, I can't wait to the next one. Yeah, so I loved um, a girl from uh, Smallville. She's just adorable, so I can see that. I mean, they had instant chemistry. I thought at one point they were going to go like she's a bad, guy. a bad guy, but it doesn't seem like it's playing out that way. Maybe it still will. You know, yeah, Chuck, I don't is, know. Chuck yeah. isn't lucky in love. Um, so we'll see how it plays out, but I think she's adorable. So, and the, her and Chuck make a great couple. Yeah. And we know right now Sarah and Chuck are not at good at a good space. They're trying to respect themselves as spies. And now yeah. with this message now from... Uh, Shaw too about like look what could happen if you fall in love with a spy. It's like just making the whole situation very ominous and not feeling like that's a way they should go. Mm -hmm. um, but for the episode itself as well, I loved everything about the uh, the mission. I thought it worked so well. I thought it was funny. It was awesome seeing him on his own. I agree. I think that he was able to tap into um, the 2.0 much faster than he typically has. Yeah. And I love Casey coming through for Morgan. That, like, that's not something typically we've seen Casey do to that effect. So I thought that was great. And then lastly, I like seeing both Casey. I mean, we obviously knew Sarah would be worried, but Casey was worried too. Yeah. Like, about yeah. his boy. So, and I think all in all, Shaw had a really great point though of setting about on his own. So he can't grow uh, and become the spy that he ultimately wants to be. So I, I, thought hope, it was, I hope it works out like that. I thought yeah. it was a really solid episode and very excited to see where it goes from here. Yep. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Chuck, Season 3, Episode Number 5. And until next time, people.